Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Silverberg, and today I'll be discussing trilocinumab plus topical corticosteroids for the treatment of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, results from the double-blind, randomized, multicenter, placebo-controlled phase 3, extra 3 trial. The aims of this study were to evaluate the efficacy and safety of trilocinumab in combination with topical corticosteroids as needed in patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Interleukin-13 is a key cytokine underlying the chronic inflammation and skin barrier dysfunction that causes the signs and symptoms of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Trilocinumab is a fully human monoclonal antibody that binds specifically to IL-13 with high affinity, thereby preventing receptor interaction. Extra 3 is a global, double-blind, randomized, phase 3 trial in patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. First, there was a two-week topical corticosteroid washout period. Then there was the initial treatment period of 16 weeks, where patients were randomized to receive either trilocinumab 300 milligram or placebo every other week. And in both dosing arms, patients were allowed to use topical corticosteroids as needed. The continuation period allowed for patients who received trilocinumab every other week in the initial treatment period to be re-randomized to receive either continued every other week dosing or every four week dosing. And for those patients who were non-responders, they would continue beyond 16 weeks at the every other week dosing. In the placebo arm, patients who were responders would continue on placebo and those who were non-responders would receive trilocinumab every other week. Lometazone furoate, 0.1% cream, which is a mid-potency topical corticosteroid, was supplied for free at each clinical visit from randomization to the end of treatment. Patients were instructed to use topical corticosteroids once daily on active lesions as needed. There's the investigator's global assessment score of clear, almost clear, as well as a 75% improvement in the eczema area and severity index, or EZ75. More patients achieved the primary efficacy endpoint of IgA clear, almost clear, and EZ75 at week 16 with trilocinumab plus topical corticosteroids as needed. Trilocinumab specifically improved all key secondary endpoints compared to placebo. Now, there are multiple other endpoints that were examined in the study that we cannot present for time in this brief presentation. These are further described in the manuscript. Additionally, at weeks 15 to 16, 55.3% of trilocinumab treated patients used only zero to five grams of topical corticosteroids, and they also used 50% less topical corticosteroids compared to the placebo group. The higher use of topical corticosteroids with placebo compared to trilocinumab, suggests that the high placebo response observed could be attributed to the increased topical corticosteroid usage. The objective of the continuation period was to investigate if the week 16 response of IgA clear, almost clear, or EZ75 could be maintained with two different dosing options, trilocinumab every other week or every four weeks plus topical corticosteroids as needed. Both dosing options demonstrated a very high level of maintained response at week 32 for both the IgA clear, almost clear, and for the EZ75 response. Notably, there was no increase in topical corticosteroid usage with trilocinumab dosing at every four weeks, indicating that the every four week dose can be an appropriate regimen after having achieved skin clearance with every other week dosing. In some patients who did not achieve the primary endpoints at week 16, improvements continued over time with trilocinumab treatment. Of these patients, 30.5% achieved an IgA clear, almost clear, and 56% achieved an EZ75 response, indicating that patients may benefit from continued treatment beyond week 16. Trilocinumab was well tolerated, with an overall frequency and severity of adverse events similar to placebo over 32 weeks. Conjunctivitis was more frequently reported with trilocinumab, and all cases were mild or moderate, and only one led to treatment discontinuation. Fewer skin infections needing systemic treatment, 
fewer severe or serious infections with trilokinumab compared to placebo. These data demonstrate that trilokinumab in combination with topical corticosteroids as needed can achieve significant improvements in atopic dermatitis severity as well as have a steroid sparing effect. A high level of maintained response was seen over 32 weeks with both the every two week and every four week dosing options. These results corroborate the results from the extra one and extra two monotherapy trials, suggesting that trilokinumab may be considered a targeted biologic treatment option for patients with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis whose disease is not controlled by topical therapies. These are my disclosures, and the extra three trial was sponsored by Leo Pharma.